But this morning, as I was uh, kind of reading up on on some of the news, I you know I turned on the news and I saw a commercial ad for Medicare again. Hi, I'm Damian Clark. I'm here to help you understand how to get the most from Medicare. If you're eligible for Medicare, it's a good idea to have original Medicare. It gives you coverage for doctor office visits and hospital stays. But if you want even more benefits, you can choose a Medicare Advantage plan, like the ones offered at Humana. Look, let me be very, very clear. There, there are folks who take Medicare Advantage because they have to. There are folks who've taken Medicare Advantage because at the time they were presented with a good plan. And I'm not saying they are not good Medicaid advan- Medicare Advantage plans. There are, but do remember that all these plans are transient. They are temporary for one year. Ask yourself a very important question. If you don't take traditional, original Medicare, why, and you chose a plan that you like that is working perfectly for you, why is it that every single year, you have to re-up your plan, right? With the original Medicare, you sign up for you sign up for Medicare to let let Uncle Sam know you're 65 older and now you are on Medicare. That's original Medicare. When you sign for that, you're done. Finito, terminado. You never have to do anything again. At that point, the government says we'll be paying. of all your bills, your medical bills. And if you happen to get Part D and what's called a Medigap program, that private insurance covers the other 20%. If you don't get a Medigap, you are responsible for the 20%. And a dirty little secret is a lot of doctors understanding that most are in dire straits. They won't bug. They'll keep that 20% on the books, but they won't bug you about it. And the other thing, again, is that we're getting a law passed that will prevent Medicare medical debt to appear on your on your credit report. And let me tell you something. I don't even feel guilty about telling you that because our healthcare is overpriced by more than twenty percent. So that be that what it's be. Now now here's the thing. Medicare Advantage you have to re up every year because that good plan that you have today next year if they didn't make a profit in that plan. They could either change it, transition it, or end it. So you are every year having to hope that the plan that you are in is good. And if you're in a good plan today, remember something else. A lot of people are going to want to be in that good plan. And eventually, all the people in these plans get sick and sicker as we age, which mean by definition, unless you die, that plan over time will eventually start losing money. It's it's a Ponzi scheme of economics. All right. So those are those are statements of fact that I just gave you that you can figure out. Why am I saying this now? I'm watching TV and I see this commercial comes on and they all know that there's a lot of us out here now really talking about original Medicare and to stick with original Medicare. And these are guys who write ads. They know psychology very well. They know that we are out here talking to you about if you can stay on original Medicare, meaning not private insurance, but original Medicare. So they make sure to now put those words in their ads. They never used to. They used to make you believe that Medicare Advantage is Medicare. Medicare Advantage is private health care that is paid for with your particular original Medicare dollars plus about 20% more. In other words, it, the government gives these private companies an extra bit of money. Now I digress. So the new ads that are coming out now says, hey, when you become 65, you qualify for original Medicare and Medicare original Medicare is good. Then they, they, they pause and they say, but if you want additional benefits, go to Medicare Advantage. Now, if they were honest, they would say Medicare Advantage, I mean, Medicare, original Medicare is good, but if you want additional benefits, get Medigap with hearing, with, with hearing eyes, and, and, and dental, right? Because you would keep your original Medicare and you'll pay a little bit extra for your Medigap 
And a lot of Medigap plans also include Medigap, ears, nose, or rather ears, eyes, and teeth, and drugs. All right? Now, they also want you to transition completely to Medicare Advantage. If you remember what Jack Van Beba said yesterday or two days ago, he was driving to KFT and he sees these big signs that says Medicare Advantage, zero payments. In other words, you just sign up for it. You don't have to worry about any money out of your pocket for premiums. And they make sure to save premiums because there's a lot of other charges that are going to be there. And for those zero ones also, they, they, they generally want you to go to a specific set of doctors, a specific set of medicines that you can take, etc. That's how it functions. They determine, the slave master determines what kind of health care you are going to get. The program isn't about this today, but I, this ad told me that I needed to start the program this way. Now, let me be very honest and frank. The way it's set up, it's biased against you. And even our government, because of who we elected, did this to us all. They give, they make it very attractive in the front end to get Medicare Advantage because it's like, uh, it, it's for, it's about you can start it. And when you start it, they handle everything. They tell you where to go, what you can take, everything. And some people do like author authoritarianism. You know, they tell you what to do. And if for some reason they don't want to treat a cancer, if they don't want to treat something, they tell you, we just won't do it. It's not in your plan. If you want it, you pay for it out of pocket. Otherwise, bottom line is this, folks. There are some people that have no alternative other than to take Medicare Advantage. There's, and that's, that's just the unfairness of our, med, our healthcare system. As some people just don't have what it, just don't have what it's Medigap is going to cost. And if they want to get that 20% drugs and, and other things, that's what they have to do. Others think they're getting a good deal because they found a good, good Medicare Advantage plan that works out perfectly for them for that particular year. But if you're looking for insurance for the, and by the way, another thing, when you have Medicare Advantage, if you try to get back to traditional Medicare after you get sick, you have to go through the process again. Uh, I don't remember what the authorization process is. And it could be that your Medigap is completely unaffordable. So it's a decision when you make it up front that would follow you for life. And specifically, if you get sick and try to transition back to Medicare Advantage, our government, because of the bribes they take from the health insurance industry, makes it very, very difficult to move to it. So I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you, this is a period where there is a, this new sign up for Medicare. For all of you who are transitioning to 65 years old, look at all these features, open eyes. And whenever you're, if you, if you, if you listen to me and decide that you're going to stick with original Medicare, which is what I, I mean, I am not a healthcare person, but this is an advice that I can give you 100% feeling, 100% uh, sure about what I'm saying. If you decide, that you want original Medicare, even after deciding that these these salespeople are very deceptive in having you sign up for Medicare Advantage anyway and lying to you and making you believe what you've signed up for is original Medicare. You have to be sure to tell them you're going to tape them. Um, is this original Medicare and not Medicare Advantage? And take your cell phone out and tape their answer so that if you find out later on something is wrong, say this was done fraudulently and we report it to the insurance commission in Texas or the insurance commission wherever you are. But don't allow these charlatanes, these hooligans, these Trump-like lion folks to let you make a decision that will affect you negatively for the rest of your life. This is advice, folks, that you can verify and please do as well. You can verify everything that I've just said. You don't have to take what I've said blindly. But my goal here is for us to make the right choice. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel. And number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet 
with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. 